everyone. Welcome to Amala Movement. I'm Charlotte. Today we're going to be moving through a calming and relaxing slow evening flow. So grab yourself a couple of pillows, maybe a blanket, and let's get started. to the floor and grab everything you need to get comfy. So put on a nice jumper, find a blanket, grab some cushions and pillows and whatever else <laughs> you would like to um, practice with this evening. Um, and take your time to do this. So feel free to pause the video and just come back whenever you're ready. And when you're ready to <laughs> um, come down to the floor, we're gonna start in a cross-legged position with your right leg in front. Um, so feel free to prop yourself up. You might see that I um, I like to use a blanket and I just kind of fold it over a couple of times um, and put it in like a rectangle shape. So you can try that out too if you would like. Um, another lovely thing you might want to explore is putting a pillow underneath you so you just get a little bit of extra um, height, especially if you've got um, tighter hips. This is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so when you're happy and feeling ah, settled, um, keep your stuff to hand. We'll be using it very shortly. But for now, let's begin in just a quiet, seated place. I invite you to close your eyes. Um, just allow the sound of my voice to guide you. I'll be doing all of this with you. So if your eyes are closed and you just want to have a little peek at what's going on, just have a little peek at what's going on. So let's start with our hands resting on our knees, palms down. Roll your shoulders in towards the back and let's just take the biggest, bestest inhale through the nose and exhale, sigh it all out. <sighs> Let it go. Good, bring one hand to your chest, one hand to your lower belly. And a few long and deep breaths here with the focus and breathing into your hands. So as you breathe in, feel the breath traveling into both hands, your chest and your lower belly and exhaling, letting it all go. Inhaling into both hands and exhale, let it all go. Oh, one more deep breath, inhale and exhaling. Great, keeping the eyes closed, bringing your back, the hands back down to the knees and dropping your right ear down towards your right shoulder. So we're coming into a very gentle neck stretch down the left side. You might decide this is enough, you're gonna stay here this evening. Or if you're looking for a bit more TLC, bring your right hand to your right shoulder. So across the body to your right neck and you're gonna give yourself a lovely little neck massage and there's no right or wrong way to do this. So just doing what feels good, trusting your body knows what it needs. Maybe some gentle squeezing, like a pinching motion, some circling motions, stroking motions, rubbing motions but it ever feels good. And through all of this practice this evening, we're gonna keep returning to our breath, particularly focusing on our exhale as a way to release and, and let go. Great, and then very slowly bringing the right hand back down towards the right knee, lifting the head back up to center. Just pausing for a moment, maybe noticing the difference in the right shoulder and the left shoulder, and maybe not, and that's okay. Let's drop our left ear towards our left shoulder. So other side now. You can stay here or bring the left arm across, bringing the hand to the neck, the shoulder, 
and squeezing, rubbing, pressing, pinching, doing whatever feels good. Remember that both shoulders aren't going to feel the same, so don't go in with any expectation. You may do something completely different on this side, and that is always allowed. Great. And remember that this is always something you can come back to after practice. If it feels really good, just remember this one. <laughs> Add it into something you can do before bed. And once you've finished lowering your left hand back down to your left knee and dropping your chin down towards your chest this time. So it's like you're looking down towards the floor. Interlacing your fingers and placing both hands on the back of your head and let your elbows hang heavy. So uh, letting your head be really heavy, softening it down towards your chest. If this is too intense, ease off, bring the hands back down towards the knees. Otherwise, just let the weight of your arms and your head uh, drop downwards. This is really great if you know that you have any tension that creeps in the upper back, neck, shoulder area. <sighs> Next time you exhale, bring the right hand over the right eye and the left hand over the left eye. So it's like we're cushioning or cradling our head into our hands. Let your eyes rest. And very, very, very slowly, we can start to blink the eyes open and gently taking the hands away from the face. Ah, lifting the head back up. Oh, lovely. And coming back into this space. <laughs> so from here, sorry, I've got my contact lens, you know, and it like sticks to your eye a bit. <laughs> So from here, bring the palms back down to your knees. We're going to squeeze our shoulders forwards and up towards our ears. Take an in-breath and pause everything. And then exhale, roll it all back down. Good. So again, inhale forwards and up with the shoulders. Pause. And then exhale, melt it all back down. Two more times if we can, inhale, forwards and up, pause the body, pause the breath, and exhale, melting it back down. Last time, inhale, forwards and up with the shoulders, and exhale, melt it back down. Great, so with your right leg in front, if it's kind of crept behind, bring it back in front. We're gonna sweep both our arms up and overhead, create space, breathe in. And as you exhale, bring your right fingertips down to uh, the mat or maybe a pillow and your left fingertips up and over our head. So we're coming into a side stretch. We're keeping this easy and juicy and we don't wanna you know, find a fixed position but um, kind of like jelly, we can just kind of wobble into this place. And I'm gonna invite us to keep our head moving. So like swishing and swaying it from side to side. And this may feel a little bit strange if you're new um, to a movement practice or a yoga practice, um, but just trust that. <laughs> We're just inviting our neck to find some gentle stretches up and down. Lovely, and then lower your left fingertips down towards the floor in a way that kind of creates this twisted forward fold shape. So you might be up here close to your knee and that's beautiful. You might reach further away from you. You might even grab a pillow <laughs> and rest both elbows on the pillow. Wherever you are, let your forehead relax down. And exhale to release. A little bit extra. And then walking 
everything into the middle. So we're coming into this forward fold again. You can be up here and that's amazing. If um, the sensations are feeling quite loud in your glutes, ease off. We don't want um, this to start happening. Space in the shoulders. Let your belly be soft and round. Your chin can drop down towards the chest. And on your next inhale, very slowly walking your hands in towards the pelvis, rolling up through the spine. Your head lifts nice and slowly. Roll the shoulders just once in towards the back. And from here, our right leg is going to extend out towards um, the side. So we're in this shape where our left knee is bent, right leg is extended. And we're going to support ourselves here. So grab all the cushions, pillows, blankets you have around you. I suggest popping them underneath your knees to add a little bit of um, cushioning. Um, this right leg doesn't need to be out towards your side. You can bring it in a lot closer um, if that works for you. Just check that this right knee is up towards the ceiling. Enough talking. <laughs> Sweep both arms up and over your head. Breathe in. And exhale, bring your left arm up and over. Good, so your left fingertips come to the back of your head. Uh, so your elbow is bent like a chicken wing and you're gonna inhale, squeeze your left elbow up and back towards the sky and exhale, close it down, bringing your left elbow towards your right knee. Inhale, open it up. We're gonna keep this movement. And exhale, closing it down. One more time, inhale, opening up through the left elbow. And exhale, closing everything down. Next, inhale, slowly coming all the way back up. Take your time. If you get dizzy, pause. And we're just going to do a little shift towards our right toes. So we're changing our orientation ever so slightly. Grab yourself, if you have one, this isn't essential, another pillow or blanket or cushion. And you're going to like wedge it in <laughs> into your hip. So it feels like you're giving your tummy a bit of a cuddle as you sit up nice and tall and then exhale. Excuse me, fold yourself down over this right leg. And again, you can still be all the way up here. Just let your head relax, your shoulders be heavy. If you are folding deeper over this right leg, I encourage you to not go to a full stretch, maybe finding 70% or so of a stretch so that we have the space in our body to drop and relax and find this softness. Good, inhale, walking your hands in towards your pelvis, rolling up through the spine. Take away your tummy cuddling pillow and then bringing your left knee up towards the sky. So left foot down, left knee up. And I've got a fair amount of space between my hip and my heel. So I'm not, you know, in an Ashtanga practice where my heel is all the way in, I've got this space. Bring your right hand to your shin or your ankle, depending on the length of your arm. Roll this left shoulder in towards your back and that helps you find a twist. Something very easy, something very soft. Wiggle your right toes, remember that they're there. Inhale and then very simply exhale, untwist yourself. Bring your left knee back down and then your right leg. You can use your hand to help you bring your right foot behind your left. So essentially, we're coming to a cross-legged position with your left leg back in front. And we're going to take this lovely little flow on the other side. So starting with both arms, create space, enjoy this length and lift through the fingertips and exhale, left hand coming over, sorry, left hand to the floor, right arm overhead. So fingertips, hand or left elbow can come down right arm all the way up and over and remember that image of jelly or wobbling as we're here keep the space and ease of the neck 
They're just exploring, looking up and down and all around. And then lowering your right fingertips to the, to the floor. So we're in like a twisted fold over our left knee. Remember we're looking for ease, so feel free to cushion yourself up. <laughs> Find a space where you can let go and feel supported. Our exhale in particular helps us find a dropping and a release down. And then walk your fingertips to the front of your body and then coming into a lovely forward fold. So don't worry how far down you're going, that's not important. The important part is that we're easing out and letting go of the tension that we build and create in the body. Let your fingers feel heavy and soft. Drop your chin completely down towards your chest. Unclench the jaw. Drop the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. And just let go. Walk the fingers in towards the pelvis. Roll up through the spine, head is the last thing. Take your time if you feel dizzy. Roll your shoulders in towards your back. Excellent. So let's extend our left leg out towards the side. So we're back in this shape where our left leg is straightish and our right leg is bentish, <laughs> and we're supporting ourselves. So pad yourself up with cushions and pillows, whatever feels good. Under the knees are really great. Just making sure this left knee, the straight leg, is um, up towards the sky rather than rotating in. So if it is, just close it off, bring it further forward. So from here, both arms lift up, deep breath in. Exhale, left fingertips find the earth, the right arm up and overhead. So the fingers can be here or the elbow can come all the way down. Listen and move and love your body as it is. So these right fingers come to the back of the head with our little chicken arm. <laughs> we inhale, lift the right elbow up and back and exhale, folding it down towards the left knee. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, down and forwards. One more, moving with your breath. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, bringing it down and forwards. Coming all the way up, inhale. Bringing that right arm down. Good. And then swiveling yourself round to face your left toes. Grab your tummy cuddling cushion if you have one. <laughs> Roll the shoulders into your back and then exhale, just gently fold. So remember that we're not, um, the goal isn't to touch our toes. We're not rounding the shoulders and trying to create this tension in order to reach further. No, 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 just relax it all down. Feel free to close your eyes if that feels yummy. Feel free to support your head and your hands if that feels yummy. Beautiful, next inhale, slowly, slowly, coming all the way back up. Taking your tummy cushion away, bringing your right knee up to standing, and then finding that space between your right heel and your hip. So remember, we're not here, we are here. Left fingers to your, uh, your right shin or your right ankle, depending on the length of your arm. Rotating round to find this lovely twist. Wiggle your left toes, remember they're there. Inhale. Very simply, exhale, untwist, and come back round. Gorgeous. So from here, we are going to come down to our back. So as slowly and as quietly and as easily as you can. I personally quite enjoy this blanket under my pelvis, even when I'm lying down. So you can choose to keep that there. Maybe you experiment with it a little bit. Uh, feet standing, knees up towards the sky, come to your elbows, have a little pause here. Feels quite nice to sway from side to side. 
and then slowly as you can, as easily as you can, just melt it all the way back. Ugh, so that we're lying down on the floor in this constructive rest position. So bring your hands to your belly. If you've got a ponytail, you might just need to shift that out of the way. <laughs> So let's breathe deep into our belly, just for a few breaths. <sighs> nice, so bringing your right knee in towards your chest, keeping it very soft, interlace your fingers and you're gonna place your, uh, the palms of your hands over your right knee and do nothing, the art of doing nothing, letting everything go, which is very different from squeezing and rounding and creating tension and activating. So by doing nothing, we're thinking about letting the weight of our arms completely relax. Let your elbows feel heavy, your shoulders. Imagine them falling back into the floor. We're wanting our head to be really heavy so I encourage that your head is flat on the floor rather than on a pillow um, so that we can fully let go of the spine and let it um, come out of that C shape that it tends to be in from texting and being on laptops and stuff. Anyway, <sighs> so from here, keep your right hip really heavy. We're trying not to activate any of the muscle, which is a really hard thing to do and it takes a lot of practice, but that's why we practice. <laughs> Bringing your right hand onto your right knee. Bring your left hand onto your left hip. Try and keep the lower body in particular as turned off as we can as we open our right knee out towards the side. This can be a few centimetres. It doesn't have to be deep. And we're just gonna soften here into this place where our right hip <clears throat> is opening, our knee is dropping towards our right shoulder. This might feel enough for you. This might feel really juicy and that you can drop away. If you're looking for something a little bit more this evening, we're gonna come into half a happy baby. So what you're gonna do is your right hand is gonna come up the inside of your right knee and you're gonna catch either your first two fingers around your big toe or something deeper, the whole of your right hand around the outside of the right foot. So kind of play what feels good with what feels good for you this evening. Remember the practice, the goal of our practice is to feel calm and relaxed. So just do what, do what you need to do to, to find that. The breath certainly helps. Next exhale, very gently bring the right knee back in towards your center. Use both hands to help you and take a few circles of the right leg one way. Circling the right leg the other way. Extending the right foot all the way up towards the sky and give the right leg a shake. So thinking about the muscles. <laughs> <laughs> the noise that was dropping away from the leg and then bending the right knee so that the right foot comes to the floor oh, and just noticing so it's important to take this time to notice the effects of your practice so maybe your right leg feels very different from your left or your right hip feels different and maybe not and that's completely fine that's okay Let's take the other side with no expectation, bringing this left knee in towards your body, interlace the fingers and then drop them around your left knee. Let your arms be heavy. So for some of us, this is a really difficult thing um, to do, especially if um, we do have a lot of tension or muscle in the arms, shoulder, upper back area. Um, if that is you, then maybe flap your wings like a chicken, <laughs> just to encourage that uh, letting go of release and release of the arm. And then softening into stillness if you haven't already. This is really great for those of you that have hip and lower back things going on, this letting go, hand releasing. 
as quietly and as slowly as you can, trying not to engage the muscles of the glutes or the hamstrings. Bring the left knee into the left hand, your right hand onto your left hip, and open very, very slowly the left knee out towards the side of the body. So you might just go a few centimeters, keeping everything turned off and relaxed. This idea of dropping the left knee down to your left shoulder. Very soft movement. You might have stopped breathing. Please don't stop breathing. Take that sigh, take that exhale. You can stay here, or you can deepen it ever so slightly by coming into like a half a happy baby position. So the left hand comes up the inside of the left leg. First two fingers catch around the left big toe. This might feel yummy, or something deeper, take the left hand to the outside of the left foot. So kind of play with your options. No one is better. No one option is better than the other. Just a different option. So just take, take what your body is asking for. And then slowly and with control, guiding this left knee back to centre for some small hip circles one way. And the other way. Sending your left foot up towards the sky, giving it a shake and a shimmy, let all the muscles drop down and away. And then lower your left foot towards the earth so the right knee is bent. Ah, take a moment to pause and notice. Ah, let's finish by bringing both knees in towards the belly, squeezing, maybe taking some rocking motions or some circles from side to side. Whatever feels good to end your practice this evening. And we are going to finish lying down. So depending where you're practicing, the time of day you're practicing, if you're ready for bed, why not go hop into bed? I <laughs> think that's fine. Otherwise, um, extend your feet to the earth. Um, and feet on the floor, knees up towards the sky. You might want to put a blanket on top of you, or you might be enjoying this feeling of having a bit of extra padding underneath you. Both hands on your lower belly. Let's close the eyes if that feels good. Breathe deep. Inhale through the nose. Relax the jaw and exhale out through the mouth. And just trust that you can allow, allow yourself to completely let go. So you can let go of the weight of the head. You can let go of your neck. You can let go of your lower belly. Let your lower belly be soft and round. And you can stay here for as long as you like. Feel free to pause the video. If it feels the right thing for you to finish your practice by bringing your hands together in a prayer position, perhaps resting your thumb on your third eye, the space in between your eyebrows. And I invite all of us to take a moment of gratitude for something or for someone that's been kind to you today. Thank you all so, so much for taking this time to practice with me. Namaste.